a bug that I've probably read over two years ago, <laughs> but I still literally haven't book questered. A book that pretty much started my entire childhood of Warrior, Warrior Saga, and the book, the OG book. Hello, fellow book questers. It is I, Aaron the Book Quester. Today, I have this awesome, epic Warrior Saga book for you guys today. Warrior Saga Season 1, which is The Prophecies Began, Into the Wild by Aaron Hunter herself slash himself, because Aaron Hunter is multiple people, as we probably all know. And well, let's get right on to it. This book is about a cat named Rusty. He is a kitty pet, which means he's being taken care of by tw two legs who are uh, what the cats call humans. And Rusty was being taken care of two legs, but he kind of wanted to taste the wild. And in the wild, there are four warriors clan, warrior clans. Thunder clan, the novel, shadow clan in the shadows, sleek and fast. Wind clan cats who can run like the wind, lives in the moors, and river clan who lives in the rains. And those four clans live in harmony and sometimes at war with each other. They hunt prey, and they hunt to, to the warrior code, which is like a bunch of rules they have to follow, including they protect their elders and their queens, which are uh, she-cats who has kids, kits, well, kids is what they call kittens. And yeah, so they have this huge organized like testimony and everything, and yeah, they are known as warrior cats who live in the wild. And Rusty, who meets one warrior cat, who is a, a an apprentice who is training to be a full-fledged warrior named Graypaw. And basically, Graypaw meets our dear Rusty, and Rusty is offered something that he will be allowed to join Thunder Clan, one of the four clans that live in the forest. And and Rusty, he decides that, yeah, I'll join. I mean, he really wants to, and he's tired of the easy, sick life that he lives with the two legs. So, he goes in, he becomes a warrior of Thunder Clan. Well, not a warrior, a, an apprentice. But there are some sinister things going on in Thunder Clan. Our dear Tiger Claw. There's something suspicious about him and his apprentice. And his apprentice is a little bit too jumpy, and Tiger Claw is a little bit too shady. Meanwhile, Broken Star, the current new leader of Shadow Clan, is full of treachery, and alas, cats that are not even young enough to get out from their mother's paws to fight in wars. And yeah, this is basically about how the legacy of Fire Paw started. And Rusty, as I have not mentioned yet, becomes Firepaw. And he becomes a new apprentice of the Warrior Saga of the Warriors of Thunder Clan. And the and the book is basically about our dear Flame Firepaw getting all this training with hunting, stalking, marking the territories of his clan, defending his clan when necessary. And in the final and in the final pages there is a battle with Shadow Clan. And White Storm, a senior warrior who is excellent at fighting, and a couple other warriors, in and Graypaw and Firepaw, and together they attack Shadow Clan because Shadow Clan has stole Thunder Clan's new kit. They rescue the kit, and Yellow Fang, who is another major controversial character, who used to be in Shadow Clan, but she was exiled unjustly, mind you, by Broken Star. She joined. Thunder Clan. So I think that wraps up the book in a really fast way. So I'm gonna say a couple things about this book. So as I told you, I just reread it. I mean, I literally just reread it. I mean, it's been a while. It's been a really long while. It's been maybe two years, maybe a year and a half. And I'm reminded of how the Warrior Saga, I guess, started because this was pretty much the first book in the saga where Fire Pop really becomes who he is in the later versions of the books. And in this book, he finally becomes a warrior who is the next level of a warrior rank. Basically, you are born, you're a kit, you stay in the nursery for eight moons, which is eight months. Then you become an apprentice, you're training to be a warrior. Then you become a warrior, 
And then, yeah, if you be a warrior and you don't die and you fight for your clan very loyally, you will become a senior warrior. And some lucky warriors will become a deputy, who is like the second in command. And of course, the leader of a clan is another great honor, and the deputy of the leader before will become technically the leader of Firecraft. I mean, the leader of the clan. So, yeah, that's some basic warrior stuff, warrior uh, customs, I guess. There are some other customs. And really, the Warrior Saga is such an epic saga because Erin Hunter really imagined, like, how would these cats think? How would they talk? How would they behave? How would they fight? That attention to detail shows that Erin Hunter, or the multiple people who is Erin Hunter, is extremely obsessed with cats and are looking at their every move. And yeah, I really understand them. And also one thing is that, you know in a book where it's like, Someone someone says, or someone someone yelled, someone someone yowled. Well, in this book, it's it's cats, right? All of the characters are cats. So the cats are like, so the book is like, Firepaw meowed, um, Gray, Gray Paw yowled in fury. It's like, she, it's so perfect. Because if it was like, Fire, Fire, Firepaw said, or Gray Paw, um, Gray Paw yelled, it wouldn't be half as realistic as it is. If you say meow, we can really tell it's a cat, can't we? Even though we are reading a book and cats are talking in their own language, of course, although it's written in English, it's just so creative and so thoughtful and Aaron Hunter or the multiple people. I'm just gonna say Aaron Hunter, okay? Aaron Hunter. And Aaron Hunter has done this so masterfully and that's what I really appreciate about this book and it makes me love cats. And it also wants, it also makes me want to eat mice, like, that's how good this, this book is, that it's, it, the way it describes how the cats, the joy when they eat the mice, how delicious it is, it actually makes me want to eat it because of how they describe it. That's how realistic this book is, it's such an epic book, an epic page turner, and there are so many twists in that conspiracy, and it will keep you on your edge. Like the fact that our dear Tiger Claw, a very seemingly loyal warrior, has killed the clan deputy so he could be the second in command. Yeah, yeah, there's some dark stuff going on right now. And yeah, and Firepaw, who becomes Fireheart, uh, his full warrior name at the end of the book, he needs to be ready and he accepts the challenge. And yeah, so it just continues on to the second book. And it is an awesome book, a must read. And like always, your book quester, Aaron the book quester, it is a great awesome book. As usual, Aaron Hunter, well, uh, not as usual, this is her slash his first book, so yeah, I guess that's a thing. God, I am not used to this. The first book of the saga, can you believe that? When Fireheart was Fireheart, Jesus Christ. Anyway, yeah, it is a great book. I highly recommend to you and the entire saga. Have a great day. Read a book.